I'm gonna give you a card too. Cool. You alright with that? Yeah, of course. Cool. I'll give you a little place I can come. I'll give you yeah, I'll give you a card. I'll give you one of these too. I brought them along for just this scenario. This little book called What Time is Purple makes you really think about this. So if you, David, right? Yes. So, so I'm a friend of yours. You found out, you, you, I tell you, I just found out I got stage four uh, lung cancer. The doctor told me I'm gonna die. Well, what are you gonna tell me? What do I need to do? I like, I really, I want that, I want that peace that you have. And I hear you talk yeah. about the scriptures. I hear you talk about yeah. the Lord a lot. You, you, um, what do I need what to I do? Would, what I would do is, um, Oh, actually, if I can pray for him. If sometimes we get in those situations where we can't, like, we're like, Jesus, we're like, we're, we're right there, like, crying mm -hmm. out, like, Jesus, Lord, God, Lord, Lord, God, what can I do? I would, um, I would see if the Lord would allow me to, to touch that person, to yeah. lay hand on, mm -hmm. um, to maybe do whatsoever he will, or I would pray, but the first thing I would do was whatsoever God commands. I would, as soon as they say, I would start trying to hear what it was like, Lord, what I was, what can I do? No, don't touch me. Because sometimes the Lord, He might make something appear as it isn't. You know? Okay. Um, but would, I would, whatsoever God tells me to do when I would I you, write that. Yeah. You, you know the term gospel, gospel, right? Yes, because yes, right, I know gospel. Jesus is the main healer. Like, that's right. it. I can't. Would you, would you preach the gospel to me? Yes, I would. I definitely would mission God. So what, yeah, what if would you, so God's what will. What would you tell me? What would you, so like, so I'm like, okay, you talk about God's will and you talk about Jesus and yeah. the gospel. Right. I've heard you say that Jesus died, but why did he have to die? Well, I would say he he was chosen to um, do so for uh, sin, for, um, for, for us sin. to inherit, for us to be able to uh, have the freedom and the rights and the liberties. So no, he died because sin. I sinned. No, for sin. For sin. All sin. Like, All sin. For I'm a anybody to to be forgiven of, right. like um, for anybody to be given of a punishment um, that uh, is attached to some type of law. Yeah. Um, for anybody to uh, be uh, granted heaven, paradise. Right. Um, for anybody to be healed, you know, um, by God's word. So for anybody to have that relationship. That, that wealth, that riches, that, that life, that complete life, or that portion of life in earth. You know, he also came that to give he came that to give life and life more abundantly also. Right. He came, yeah. I love that you use that verse because yeah. that's actually one of my favorites and I think we, we misunderstand it sometimes. Yeah. Because I came to bring life and give you life so that yeah. you know I'm paraphrasing. He also you have it more abundantly. And what does he mean by that? And here's right and here's right. what I and here's what I tell you to think yeah. about. Because I gotta I catch up with my people. But here's Here's what I tell you to think about. When Jesus was talking about people having life yeah. and having it more abundantly, he wasn't actually talking about prosperity and healing. Right, right. He was talking about everlasting life, right. eternal life. And, right. so, and here's what I mean by that. Jesus was dealing with people that were actually probably nailing it. You know what yeah. I mean? They were yeah. doing really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nailing it physically, you know, spiritually and emotionally. Right. And, and actually, even physically, they were nailing yeah. That's good it in material goods, right? Yeah. So they didn't need... Yeah, more material good. goods. Yeah. They didn't even really need any more healing. What yeah. they needed was was salvation. Yeah, salvation. And yeah. so when he was talking to them about <laughs> salvation, when he was talking to them or about having them in life, he was talking about salvation. Yeah. And here's kind of what he was saying to them. And he had been saying this to them for years and years and yeah. years, David. He was saying to them, look, I came so that you would have this abundant life. And this abundant life is life through me because I fulfilled all of the scriptures that regard to the, that that are going to I will be fulfilling because he hadn't yet died obviously yeah I've come to be that Messiah that the Old Testament prophets talk yeah. about right yeah and I came to pay a penalty for sin I'm came, I've come to pay your debt right and I'm going to suffer the wrath that you deserve on the cross yeah. because I'm the Messiah and here's the thing I'm also God yeah I'm, he's 100% God 100% man and only he could do well, man couldn't. He kept God's law perfectly because you and yeah, I can't, yeah, right? No. We've, you've lied, I've I mean, lied. Of course, I mean, but, <laughs> but to a degree. But yeah, if yeah. you break even one law, yeah. what's James say? If you yeah. break so much as one law, you've broken them all, right? Right, right. Right. So, that, that like, even if you've never physically murdered someone, yeah. if you say you hate someone, yeah. according to God, yeah. that's murder. Right. And so Jesus is telling them that, and then he says, "Look, repent and turn, because I'm going to go to the cross and I'm going to bear the wrath of God for you, yeah. so that when I die under the wrath of God." And then I'm buried, yeah. and then I'm going to resurrect again. Not yeah. not just by God, by God the Father, but under my own power, as a re also as a reward for obeying perfectly. Yeah. And then I'm going to ascend into heaven, and I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to prepare a place for you. But you must repent. Now that sounds like there's something you must do, and then to agree it is. But you confess your sin. Romans 10 says yeah. if you confess with your mouth 
and believe in your heart that he is both Savior and Lord, you will be saved. And that's what you should tell that friend Savior. of yours. Right. Before you get into anything else, always preach the gospel to people. Yeah. And believe that. You know that message? Yeah. Huh? It was awesome just talking to you. Just a tad bit. Yeah. Just a tad bit. I would love, I don't yeah. know if you have internet access. Or uh, yes, I do. Yes, I have on that, I put my card in there for you. Okay. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not a wealthy, so I'm not a wealthy now. man, but I do have yeah. an inter, I do have an internet site and I have uh, an email address. Okay. And I would love to hear from you if you ever have yeah, any questions. Yeah, I think, I think I'll definitely so keep in touch. I hope you have a good yeah. day, David. Okay, thanks. And thanks for your time. David, so, thanks. you know, God bless you, man. All right, see you. Have a great day. Take care.